Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a cell shade and material for your game. So before we start, I do want to mention that you won't be able to use emissive materials and that I haven't made up the system. It was made by Aaron Langmid, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description where he shows you how to do it. Okay, so first of all, open your image editor. You can use whatever you want. I'm using Pisco. You can also use, um, <coughs> excuse me, Krita, Photoshop, or whatever. But, okay, so you want to set the width to 1 and the height to 128. And that's in Piscals. And we want to make the whole strip white. Completely white. Okay, awesome. Now we want to add some gray shaders on top. You can also use black. And now something in between. You can also use different colors such as blue, red, and green. But it will look much different. The shadows and, the, and all that stuff will be will have the color of your texture so have that in mind but it might be what you're looking for you can also have the dark stuff in the bottom or whatever you want to see what fits well for your game after that I'm going to export it into a PNG I'm going to name it test I'm going to put it in my desktop and now I'm going to open up an Unreal project this is a new project and haven't done anything to it and I'm going to import the PNG image that I've made and I'm going to make a new material and name it whatever you want. After that I'm going to make a post process volume. You want to look for unbound and check it. After that we want to look up for bloom check the intensity box and set it to zero and finally we're going to look up for auto exposure and check min and max brightness and set both of those to two okay so now we're going to start working with the material first of all we want to add to check we want to set the material domain to post process and the blendable location to before translucency okay so first of all we want to add two scene textures which basically will reference two textures from the world and what they will do the first one will be post process input zero and the second one will be diffuse color and I want to add a divide and what this will do will it will um it will basically kind of divide like the light rays between the diffuse color and after that uh the texture we made the light rays will be set to the color of the texture we made i hope that makes sense it's a little bit complicated but it's actually quite simple once you have it done so after that we want to add a mask sorry not a mask a clamp and just be aware that if you set the min and max default to the same value there will be no shadows since there will only be one ray of light but I, that won't if you you need at least two rays of light to see some shadows if you have only one you won't see any and that's if you clamp it if you clamp both to the same value I hope that makes sense it's a little bit actually weird but you know now add a mask component mask and we only want to have the R selected and we also want another mask over here <coughs> and we want the R the G and the B selected which are the color which is the color we want the, we want we don't want the alpha after the first mask we want a texture sample and that's where we will add the texture we've made 
and after that we want to multiply the texture by the color and if we don't do this you won't see the colors of the materials of the rest of your meshes and after that we want to set it to the emissive color oh sorry sorry about that there we go and we want to apply it okay great we, are, we already have our material the last thing we have to do is set the post-process volume we have to look for blendables we want to press the add element choose asset reference and choose the new material we've made as you can see it already looks quite different and it doesn't look right right now <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I will play with my clamp settings and I think 0 0.7 in the min default will look quite well I'm going to, I'm going to try don't worry about the brown stuff that appear that appeared over there it will disappear and as you can see there's less shadows and it kind of looks quite nicer so thanks for watching and see you in the next one in the next video so thanks for watching and see you in the next one